What's going on investors, AK from Fallible here. Today I wanna to talk about algorithms in trading and the danger that comes with them. Now, Kathy O'Neill, who's a former quant from Wall Street, made a great video recently describing what algorithms really are. Opinions embedded in math. I worked as a mathematician, then as a quant in finance, I saw the worst of finance. I went into data science and I was struck by what I thought was essentially a lie. Namely, that algorithms were being presented and marketed as objective fact. A much more accurate description of an algorithm is that it's an opinion embedded in math. The issue here is that people tend to believe that market algos are perfect because they use objective data. But that's not the case because they're not objective at all. When a person creates an algorithm, that algorithm ends up expressing that person's opinion. And because of that, there's a lot of room for error. And actually expressing that opinion through an algo could actually multiply that error. And if you really think about what an algorithm is, it's actually pretty simple. Um, an algorithm is a very general concept. It's something that we do actually in our heads every day. To build an algorithm, we need only two things, essentially, a historical data set and a definition of success. Kathy gives a great example of algorithms through cooking. So I build an algorithm to cook dinner for my family. The data that I use on a daily basis is the ingredients in my kitchen, sometimes the time I have, the ambition I have for that dinner. And then I assess the dinner after the fact. Was it a success? I define that because I'm the one who's building the meals. I'm in charge, I have the power, so there's always a power element here. So I get to decide a meal is successful if my kids ate vegetables. My kids, if they were in charge, would have defined it differently. Now she makes a very distinct point here that she is defining the success parameters of that algorithm. If her kids were doing it, it would be completely different. They'd be eating ice cream every day for every meal forever. So even being able to define what success is for an algo is how the creator's opinion tends to slip in. And at that point, the algorithm is already biased. And then as the algorithm becomes optimized, that bias gets compounded over time. And it matters because as we optimize over time, we optimize to success. The succession of meals that I cook from month to month is a very different path of meals than if my son were in charge. So we do that every time we build algorithms. We curate our data, we define success, we embed our values into algorithms. So when people tell you algorithms make things objective, you say no. Algorithms make things work for the builders of the algorithms. Curating the data in the first place and then defining what success is, that is how the creator's opinion gets put into the algo. The algorithms are there to do what the creators want. So here's the issue that I see if all these algorithms express their creators. In the markets, all these quants that are coming to develop these algos, they all come from similar schools like Stanford or MIT, and then they work at funds that are pretty similar too. So all of them are kind of looking at markets the same way. And because they look at the markets the same way, they're gonna create algorithms algos that pretty much trade the markets the same way. All of them are optimizing for the same exact thing. And when all these algorithms are acting the same way, they all tend to buy and sell at the same times too. And because of this, they increase the volatility in the market with each up move and down move being bigger than it usually would be. And we already see this in the current market. If you pay attention to the big down days, there's always a certain price level in the market where if the index crosses that point, you will see a ton of selling kick in that moves the market down fast to the next level. And where that selling is coming from is from the quant algos all kicking in at the same time. They're all waiting for one level to be broken and then they all start selling. So you get one break and then a huge move to the next point. And that's because they're all working the same way. And there's so much money in these algo systems now that it creates systemic risk because you don't want all this money moving the exact same way. It's not natural and it creates a market imbalance, which is dangerous. In a recent Real Vision interview with Stan Druckenmiller, he was describing how these algorithms have screwed up price discovery in the markets. And Druck has been trading for almost 40 years now and his biggest fear is that what he's been using for the past 40 years is not going to work anymore and he was talking about how he looks at different market internals like different sectors of the market to see where the general market is moving or at least he used to because now those things don't work as well anymore and he was saying that trends in general aren't even working properly because of the weird times that these algos are throwing money in and pulling it out so normal price signals in the market that he used to use and that a lot of traders use are all distorted now because of these quant algorithms now in the last decade these algos have come a long way and there's a lot more money in them than there used to be but we've never really seen how they act when there's a big market turn what are they gonna do in the bear market are there gonna be a lot more flash crashes what's gonna happen as the systemic risk grows and grows is the government gonna come in and start regulating them because this could be potentially very dangerous what do you think about these market algorithms should the government be regulating them or are they gonna cause huge crashes in the future let me know in the comments I want to hear what you think and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell for notifications of new videos 
videos. We publish two to three a week, all market and business related. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.